so hey guys I just wanted to do a video real quick and holla at you guys welcome back to the channel um, let me know if you like these like raw unedited videos that I do um, typically I do like you know more preparation but sometimes when I get called to speak something or I feel like I, I, need, I need to share a message I just like to turn on the camera and just go but um, I actually was talking with some clients today about the feminine approach and I actually posted something on my Instagram about taking a more feminine approach to life and um, different aspects of what we're trying to accomplish whether it's our goals and our business or just life in general and how you know I like to take a more feminine approach and how it served me in my life uh, See, the problem with these uh, <laughs> these uh, videos is that my arm gets tired. And so one of the things that I found interesting is that a lot of people don't know about this feminine approach, right? They don't know um, that there's, it's really when it comes, when I talk about feminine approach, it's just a way of being. It's more of a way of doing things and energy and um you know, I didn't know about it until I needed to know about it, if that makes sense. Because I had for such a long time been operating in such of a such a masculine energy and I was taking a masculine approach to life in all aspects of my life. And that included my relationships, that included business, that included friendships, everything. I was operating in a more masculine energy and I was taking a more masculine approach and I had not discovered what people call feminine energy being um, you know being in our feminine power being feminine I didn't know what that meant I always thought that that was something that you know was an adornment and you know in my program Glowing Up is an Empowered Feminine. I talk about the adornment piece and um, the importance of it, if that's what you want. I honestly feel when it comes to embodying our feminine energy and being in our feminine power, that it starts on the inside and it radiates on the outside. And it's something that you want to express in your outward appearance and how you present yourself to the world. I think especially when you can embody your feminine power, that that is powerful. And that's what, from my experience in being a matchmaker, what creates amazing attraction. My battery is about to die. I'm just looking at my battery in life. But that's what, that, that's what helps with this uh, amazing attraction when it comes to finding a relationship or being in a relationship. It doesn't matter the gender though. And that's, I think that's where we mess up is that we think that feminine energy is just uh, females and then masculine energy is just males. And that's not the case. You can be a man and, and feminine and mainly because we both have both energies and you both can operate from both energies. But you can be a man and operate mainly from your feminine energy and you can be a woman and operate and your masculine energy and there's nothing wrong with either one of those um, but I know when it comes to like you know partnerships especially relationships that oftentimes you need that polarity that allows for amazing um, attraction and an amazing relationship because of the the opposite so you have someone that's in their feminine energy and then you have someone in their masculine en energy and when they come together, it creates magic. You know, it's, it's amazing when they come together. And um, I know personally, like I said, even being in my more masculine energy for my business and even in relationships, it did not serve me. It didn't, it was not natural to me. It was not part of my natural essence. And so it did pose problems for me and my business it led to burnout it led to exhaustion and it also led to depression because I was not happy I did not feel um, like I was fulfilled and I think that's one thing that we have to 
look at is what feels natural to you you know does operating in your feminine energy feel natural to you um, if you're if you're experiencing exhaustion if you're experiencing depression if your relationship is not where you want it to be if you're experiencing a lot of issues in your relationship then that might be an issue that might be the issue and the problem with feminine energy femininity that society has put on like the the views that they projected on femininity is that it's like you have to be a doormat and you know um you get walked over and all of those things and that's not the case whatsoever because i've stated in previous videos being in your feminine energy and your feminine power is very very powerful and that's where manifestation comes from that being in um, being vulnerable being in your feelings and you know tapping into that part of you that um helps with your manifestation it helps create the life that you want and so I wanted to share that because I think it's important because I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about taking a feminine approach, um, that you're weak, that you're, um, going, you're a doormat, that you're going to be walked over, walked all over and all these things. And that is not the case whatsoever. All I'm saying is that if you've come to a point in your life where you're not seeing things come into ex your existence like you want to if you're like you feel like you're hitting a brick wall you're not going where you want to go you are experiencing burnout exhaustion or you're not seeing that amazing attraction in your relationship that once was there or is not there anymore no I know um, personally a hundred percent I could have I, I was totally in my masculine energy totally and it did not serve my relationship it did not serve my business because you know it did work because masculine energy does work however for me it was not my natural essence and so for me it did leave me feeling unfulfilled it did leave me feeling exhausted all the time and so it's just a matter of really taking a deep dive asking yourself really good questions and seeing perhaps I need to take a different approach um, and I know when I started operating more my feminine energy uh, standing my feminine power glowing up as an empowered feminine as I say on my channel um, that's when I really felt myself and I said that in my Instagram post, post is that I really started feeling more like myself and the problem with um, you know not operating in the right energy is that sometimes it you're when you're forcing and you're not in flow that's where that exhaustion comes from. That's where the depression comes from. That's where not feeling fulfilled comes from because you're forcing something. It's You're not in flow where things come easy to you and they just manifest so effortless, effortlessly. I have a hard time saying that, that word, but effortlessly. And that's what we want. Like, think about it. We want things to be effortless, right? We want things to just happen naturally and just be in the flow of life. <laughs> like, I know I do. I want to be in the flow of life. And, you know, step into my feminine power. So, yeah. I just wanted to share that because I thought it was interesting. Um, I was talking, like I said, I was talking with some clients um, about how I do take more of a feminine approach and I do share a more feminine approach when it comes to you know uh, achieving your goals and seeing what you this is not the best angle but seeing what you want um, into your existence come to fruition and so I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, let me know in, in the comments below if that's something that you've ever experienced have you ever experienced exhaustion in your life Oh, my battery is about to die. Okay. Exhaustion and depression. So, um, 
And have you ever considered a different approach when it came to your life? Have, have you ever discovered perhaps that you're in a different, that you felt like you needed to operate in a, in a different way in your life? Anyways, you guys, that is all for this video because my battery is about to die. I hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.